Hello again, boys and girls in Primary 4 in the Nazareth House Primary School and in Long Tower Primary School. It's good to be talking to you again. If you remember the last day, I asked you to research and watch when the priest uses his kiss. He, uses the, he kisses the altar at the start of Mass, he kisses the altar at the end of Mass, and he kisses the Book of the Gospels after the Gospel reading. We kiss the altar because the altar has, we know that our Lord and Saviour died on the cross. And you'll often notice people kissing the cross on their rosary beads because we see this as a sacred symbol, the cross. Now in Mass, the altar is the altar of sacrifice. And if you like, it has replaced the cross uh, uh, in our lives. And the altar has become the cross on which we represent the sacrifice of our Lord and Saviour. And that's why the priest kisses the altar. It's the sacred altar of sacrifice, the cross of our Lord and Saviour. The reason we kiss the book of the Gospels is because the four Gospels are the special word of God describing the life of Jesus, to his life, death and resurrection. And they're the most important parts of the whole Bible. And when we read from the Gospel, the priest kisses the book of the Gospels at the end of the reading. You will notice too, boys and girls, that we stand at Mass for the reading from the Gospel as a mark of respect. Often people stand up when a special guest comes into the classroom or when we meet special people. It's always a courteous and respectful thing to do to stand up when you meet another uh, uh, important person. I want you to watch out too, boys and girls, when we stand to greet the gospel. The priest says, the Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel, he says, according to Matthew. He makes the sign of the cross on his forehead, on his lips and on his heart. And so do the people at Mass. I want you to think, why do you, why do you make the sign of the cross on your forehead, on your lips, and on your heart? Discuss that with your teacher now about why we make the sign of the cross in those three places, and what kind of a prayer we might say that that gesture makes on our, on our forehead, our lips, and our heart. We talk again next week.